Hello everyone. Uh, today I wanted to show you the 16 output expansion board. So this is just a way to add a ton of additional outputs to your pin one or pin one mini. And you can see it's very easy to hook up. It's just the four wires you have to connect. One thing to be sure of is when you connect these four wires, if you disconnect or reconnect them, you should always re, uh, uh, reset the power on the pin one mini. So you just unplug the USB and plug it back in. Some computers do not turn off the USB power when they are turned off. So they'll still provide power to the USB. So this thing will never get reset unless you actually, you know, physically unplug it and plug it back in again. So something to be aware of. Um, but yeah, here's the board and just a brief kind of overview of, of what it has. It's got uh, 16 high power outputs on it that can handle 10 amps each can all be run uh, up to 30 volts and I also do sell some high voltage uh, boards if you want to run uh, higher than like you know, 48 or uh, 50 volt equipment off of it you could do that uh, each of these are set up in four different power banks so this input these two inputs here are gonna be driven by these four sets of outputs and then they'll drive the outputs here so you kind of have uh, a power bank input for these four outputs, and then another one here. If you supply power here, it'll supply these four. And you can see there's two power inputs here. These can be used to run power into, or you can use it as a jumper. So you can like run power into here, and then jumper the power from here over to here to run these other four, or jumper the power over here, you know, to run these four over here, and then you could jump it from here to here. So it kind of allows you to. Just, just give you options so you don't have to have like um, you know just it just makes it easier to, to run your power around really um, so yeah so that's how the inputs work and you'll see it in one second too just thought I would just give you the quick overview so you could see it but essentially now and oh the other thing just to highlight each of these chips you know are user replaceable so you can just pull them out and put them back in again in case you damage one very easy to do and so now I've got 12 volts coming on this little guy. And I'll show you if I plug in 12 volts here. <clears throat> and then I go to my outputs. And expansion board 2 is what's going to control this. And if I control turn that on, you'll see those first four power banks are going to turn on. But if I turn on the fifth one, sixth one, you see nothing's turning on right now which is what you'd expect, but if I simply just take this power off and plug it into the other power bank, then now you'll see those four are on because I just turned them on in the tool there. And just the same, like just to show you that those are the same electrically, yeah, see that turns on those four and that allow those four. So that's like basically the same thing. So I could run a jumper from here to here and then those four would activate. Um, and then same for up here, if I apply power up here, uh, one of them is on already, and I can turn on the next one, and the next one, and the next one. And then, of course, the last four aren't going to turn on, but if I just simply move this over here, and we got one left that I haven't turned on yet, but yeah. You get the, the point. It's pretty easy to work, and, uh, and just like hooking up anything else, uh, if you wanted to like hook up this solenoid to the output, you can do it really easily. There's uh, yeah, I've got a, a plus and I'll put nine right here. So you can see that one turning on when I plug it in. They're all diode isolated, so you don't have to worry about see, there's no diode on there. There actually is a diode on there, but it's cut off. So you don't have to worry about, you know, with the diode or anything like that. It'll it'll still keep itself safe. And the four separate fuses as well. So each segment completely separated. That just makes it easy if you want to run something at 24 volts. It's really easy to do. You just run your 24 volt power supply directly in here. It's completely isolated from the other chips. So you can run these ones at 12, these ones at 5, whatever you want to do. And it'll work real nicely that way. All right, so hope you found that useful. Like I said, kind of easy to hook up and uh, easy to use. And until next time, I will see you guys later.